creative friends, it's Gwen and I'm back today with an unboxing video for you all. I've gone and done a thing. I have gone and purchased my very first Christmas collection for 2022 and I want to unbox it with you. So let's jump on in. So the collection is called Mittens and Mistletoe and it is by Crate Paper. I love the more traditional tones in this one. It does have a little bit of a touch of like a blue, which is a bit more modern, but it is predominantly the Christmas red and Christmas green, which I love. I did get the 12 by 12 paper pad and I will have a quick flick through it. For me, this collection was very crepe papery but it was also quite traditional and I liked that about it. So yeah, as I said, this beautiful traditional green, traditional red elements, and then added into the mix some really pretty pink and like pale blue, which, oh yeah, I love. And I really love this bear icon. We're gonna see him a little bit in the collection. He is super cute. So tis the season to be jolly. It has a couple of snow elements, and that's always a bit tricky uh, because it doesn't snow here, obviously, in Australia around Christmas time. But it did have enough other elements that it didn't really matter to me. I do have a couple of snow pictures. We went to uh, America during Christmas one year as a family. So I do have a couple of photos that I could use with the snowy icons. So I'll use them up for that. And here's a look at the paper pad. I am loving all of this. Really, really loving it. See, that to me seems a little bit wintry, but that's okay. I can make that work. I'm loving the inclusion of some of the black and white papers as well. I do like to use black and white photos, and it's nice to add that into the mix. And you'll see too, I feel like this collection, like it's probably, it's got a lot of icons that are, pretty standard in a Christmas collection. There's nothing like crazy new about it, but that's what I actually like about it. I feel like it's a collection that I will have in years to come that will stay fairly, um, what's the word, like not so trendy. I, I think that when I buy collections that have super trendy elements to them, they're the ones that in a few years time, I find that I don't like anymore and I end up purging. It's the collections that are more traditional, that have icons that are more staid and true. That's the collections that I tend to keep and I will continue to work with as they get older. This is really cute. I like the little camper van. It's a shame it's got snow on it. I wish it didn't um, because we'll obviously be spending a lot of time away in our van, you know, over the holidays. Um, it is cute though. I think I'll still use it. Well, that's pretty too. That's not even Christmassy, is it? That could be used for anything like that. I loved this too. So I've got a bunch of type sentiments that make up the background, but I have seen some sample layouts where all of these have been fussy cut out. So they're kind of like little uh, sentiment elements that you can add towards the end of your layout. Really like that. I like this too. Peace on earth. Happy Christmas. Holly jolly holiday. Yeah, it's cute. There are some more too, like first no, let's get cozy. So there are some parts that may not apply for me. But overall, a lot of them do, like round the tree, you and me, Coco, from me to you, happiest holidays. Yeah, I really like that. I really like that. I feel like it's a nice blend, actually. It's not just all about the snow and the cold. Oh, I really like that too, just as a background. That's really pretty. Oh, that's cute too, some stars. Yeah, I'm seeing a couple of papers that I could use as my background. I do enjoy using pattern papers on my background layer and sometimes the papers are really busy and I'm not able to do that. So I really like that I can with a couple of these. That's really nice too. Nice for fussy cutting. Yeah, I'm loving this. Oh, that's really nice too. That would be a nice background. I'd use that as a background. Yeah. Oh, this is like the um, sweater. That's really fun. I really like that. <laughs> so many patterns. Oh, a wood grain. Hmm. It's a bit dark, I think, for me. But it could be nice as a photo mat and as a frame for my layout. I don't think I would use that as a background, though. Oh, stamps. That's interesting, too. Very cute. Lots of details in those. You could cut those out. 
Yeah, I like those too. Little squirrel. <laughs> He's cute. Christmas tree. Yeah. Oh, this is like a letter to Santa. This could be a really good background as well. I like the little Santa icon there. Or you could pop your pattern paper like to cover all this up and have that just be like a frame. Loving this. That, that would be a really nice frame as well and mount for photo and like paper layer, gift tags. I like that it's got a bit more of a smaller print. Yeah, that's cute. Oh, presents. I like that too. Yeah, fussy cut. You could fussy cut those out. It's a bit busy for a background, but I do like that. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, I really like that. That's super sweet. There's that little camper van again. Well, looks like we're going to have to take the caravan to the snow. <laughs> it won't be at Christmas time, though, because it just does not. It doesn't get cold here at Christmas at all. Ah, oh, yeah, that's so cute. There's the little bear, too. Yeah, he's sweet. I like him. That's a lovely background as well. Yeah, there's lots of options. I'm loving the mix of the busier, bolder prints and then the things that are a little bit more subtle and a little bit softer. And then we're back to the start again. So two of every pattern paper in this one when you get the 12 by 12 paper pad. Uh, next, let's talk chipboard. And this looks pretty good. The first thing I panic a little bit First thing I always check is alignment, and this looks good. Okay, I'll take this off so you don't get the glare. Ooh. There you go. Okay. Yeah, loving this. I'm loving the scroll. I'm loving the tone, the color of that red and the green. Really, really pretty together. I'm loving this piece on earth, the bows. I'm all about them bows. Even this pour a cup of cheer, this sweet little birdie. Yeah, this is really cute. I'm gonna use all of this. Home, sweet home. Yeah, really, really love that. Let's look at these ones next. They are thicker tidal elements. So it's sort of a mix though. Some of these are like a puffy sticker. And they're quite big, which I really, really love. So we're, there's titles. So Merry Christmas, Happiest Holidays, Warm Wishes, like that. Good cheer. And there's also, though, like cute little snowflakes. There's another bow. <laughs> Magical. I really like that. And then some little holly elements that you could add. These little tab parts are um, really sweet too. December 25th. Yeah, loving that. And then this side, what have we got? Oh, Christmas tree. That's cute. Oh, there's actually quite a few bows in this collection. Yay. First snow. Hmm. Well, I actually do have a photo of um, Caitlin enjoying her first snow experience. So I could use that for that. Bundled up. That's cute. Let's get cozy. Yeah, I like that. I'll be using those. They'll be good too for um, if I'm going to do some Christmas cards or a few. There, I've got a few things in mind this year. So we'll see. I like this too. Tis the season. Okay, so then similar to these, we have these which are the just the cardstock stickers. And they definitely have a similar vibe. Obviously, they don't have the same dimension and shiny that the puffy stickers have. But these are great to layer up and they are gold foiled as well. So can you see that shimmery, shimmery? Really nice. Warm wishes. I like that. More bows. Uh, the squirrel's cute to you from me. And there's that camper. So a lot of repeated icons, which I do like. I find that that kind of um, makes it easier to create with when there's some elements that are repeated across a collection. So I'm loving that. I'm loving the little flower and the wreath. Yeah, that's super, super cute. And then here's that bear. Cute little Christmas tree, some pine cones. All is bright. Got a little bit bent in my package. But, uh, bundled up or bundle up, bundle up. December 25th, very merry. Yeah, I'm loving that. Oh, I can't wait. I love scrapbooking Christmas. It is the most fun. 
Okay, next I will show you these. These are the charms. Do you know what? I'm not sure about these, but I got them anyway because Christmas. Um, I will make an effort to pop them onto my layouts. I feel like they could be a really nice addition to an embellishment cluster. I just have to figure out how that's going to work because normally I would put something like this as like a flare or a button, like an epoxy button, would go like on the top of an embellishment cluster. But because they're stitched, they have to kind of be tucked under maybe an embellishment cluster or just hand stitched onto the layout. I will see, but I, I feel like I could make them work and they were really sweet. So time will tell. Next, washi. I did get the washi tape. I don't normally get the washi tape from American Crafts because it's like not cheap. But I actually did that because I do have another video that I want to share that I will need some better quality American Crafts style washi. So this is the tape that I'm going to use. I will. I do want to open this up. I actually only really use washi on the backs of my layouts to um, secure stitching and things like that. But I'm going to make this work. There's a few prints in this. I do like that there's a few prints and they're all different lengths, uh, not lengths, widths. Um, so I will need to have a play with that and see if I can make that work. You will see these in a separate video with a separate idea later on. Okay, so I've got out a little bowl because I want to do the ephemera. So this is 40 pieces that are mixed. It does have gold foiling and quite a lot of little icons that I think I'm going to enjoy. So let's have a quick look through. Cute little hat. See, I like these layering pieces. They're always really useful to build out clusters with. So I definitely needed to get this part of the collection. I'm liking that it has a few frames. And yeah, these pieces are great for like layering together and to make like little yeah embellishment clusters. I definitely use those. Joyful. And again, just in these traditional Christmas colors in 10 years time, we are still going to be scrapbooking Christmas in red and green. Merry days ahead. Love that. I love the tags. They're cute. Oh, that's cute too. It's got like a little bow. Yeah. Lots of little pieces in there. And then this section's larger. So these pieces seem a bit bigger. Joyful season, best moments, winter wishes. Some more layering pieces. Happiest of holidays. Wishing you the merriest Christmas. Oh, I like that. Even that, that's just like a little cute little element. Merry, yeah. Oh, I'm going to use these too. I like them. They're great. More stamps. A postcard. That's cute. Lots and lots. Oh, that goes that way. Huh. Lots and lots of different bits and pieces that I can layer up more frames. So there's quite a few frames. It's cute. Oh, that's cute too. Just love that you can just add little bits and pieces. These are cute. That's another postcard. These, the edge is quite cute for that too. Dear Santa, I like that. So you just layer them up together. Very, very cute. So that's the 40 piece ephemera pack. That's the back. You can see them all together. Lots and lots of icons. Next up, so I'll pop that there. Next up, I'll do the other ephemera pack. So this is 40 pieces as well. These were smaller. This to me feels like journaling kind of elements, whereas this is smaller icons. Here's a quick look at everything in this pack. So as you can see, there's not any journaling spots. They're all just little icons and elements that you can add to your embellishment clusters. These are much smaller, but that's good because then they can layer on top, which is what we want, right? I love the pine cones. They're cute. A little floral cluster. There hasn't been very many of those, so I'm glad that a couple are included in this pack. Cute little hat, some presents. Oh, this is a little squirrel. <laughs> He's cute. A tree, Christmas tree. 
cute little pot of tea, or hot cocoa maybe. It's a snowy house, warm wishes. That's also gold foil. Can you see that? Tis the season to be jolly. And a little porcupine, hedgehog, another bow. Yeah, I'm loving all the bows. Maybe that's what I was drawn to as well. I must have, I must have seen them all and gone, yep, that's for me. Sign me up. Christmas collection with bows. Tick, tick. Wonder. Another cup of hot cocoa. There's a couple of those. Uh, more florals. They're sweet. And pine cones. I don't know about those. We'll see. Christmas presents. There's the camper. Oh, look. I really like that. Actually, does it have snow? Yeah, it does have snow. Peace. All is bright. I like that. More florals. Oh, here's the bear. I'm going to jump ahead to the bear. Look at him. Oh, I really like that. Merry. Some mittens. Some cute little mittens. Another wreath. There was a couple. There was another wreath I saw somewhere else. So, yeah, some repeated sentiments. Here's another bow. They're a bit whimsical bows. They're a bit, they're not very symmetrical, which I have a little bit of a problem with. But bows, nonetheless, will work for me. <laughs> squirrel. Is it a squirrel? I guess so. Uh, some holly. That's cute. A little bird. Snowflake. Oh, mushrooms. I have not seen those anywhere else, I don't think. Another hat, more cocoa, and another, oh, that's mistletoe. So they're really cute. I really like those. They're really cute. Okay, next is enamel dots. I don't know. I thought these would be different. They're cute. I thought they might be bigger, maybe. I think I've been caught out with that before from American Crafts where I've thought that these style stickers were bigger. They're okay. The dots I think I will use, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Time will tell. They are super shiny and really pretty, but some of them are small. Then this, I wasn't sure about what this was exactly. Uh, it says 54 tags. Yeah, so when I saw this, I was like, mm, I'm not sure what this is. 54 tags, we'll see. I thought it could be good to add to the layers of my layout. So maybe that, or maybe I will actually use them on gifts themselves this year. So it does come in a book as such, like they're all bound together. And they are exactly what it says. They're all tags. So you can tear them off and then add them to gifts. They do say to and from. Is that on the back of all of them? I think it might be. Yep. So they've got a spot to write to and from on the back of all of them. So you could use them in your projects, your paper craft projects as little elements and things. But you could also use them on actual gifts which is super sweet. Um, I do like this. See, it's, they're like layered, all layered together. I like that. Here's a look at the back. So you can see what's in there. So I guess I'm going to have to make a layout with a bunch of tags on it just to, you know, get the most out of this. I do like that they've got them in different sizes. I feel like that's going to be super helpful because this sort of size and style is the size that you would just put on a scrapbook layout as a little icon or, you know, just like an element and add addition to your paper layers. So I feel like they're very practical in terms of scrapbooking, but also <laughs> I can add them to little gifts. Peace on earth. Is that there? Oh, he's like, he's adorable. I really like him. So that's Mittens and Mistletoe by Crate Paper. Love Christmas. Got so many ideas already happening with this collection. Cannot wait to use it. If you love crafting all the Christmas things, you'll want to check this video out right here. It's a Christmas-inspired scrapbook layout. I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.